I thought I would show you what I did for the boys. Zane has a lot of um, just catch up for schoolwork that he needs to do. But he sent us a lot of like stuff for them to do through the summer to keep them caught up on what they've learned so far. Um, it was a lot of stuff, but so what I basically did is I set up a binder for him and I set up these folders so that we can help him keep working through on schoolwork through the summer to keep him caught up. So they sent this calendar thing where they can every day have an assignment. So today's assignment was write a letter to me and send it to school. So I had him write an email to his teacher and he'll pick out one every day. And I got this cool printable on Pinterest. I'll see if I can find the link for you. And basically it's something for them to do when they're bored. And so I'll have some things in here for when they say they're bored. Like I have this brand new spiral notebook for them. And um, I'm hoping to push him to write a little bit, but drawing is fine too, because he has, so he needs to practice his fine motor skills. So each folder is a day and I had him pick the colors he wanted for each day. So Monday was math day, so that was today. And I had a, a worksheet in here for him that he did. It was actually this worksheet that they are sent home with him, which was all math. And so I had him do both, just the whole side of it. Because I figured out how many weeks we have of summer vacation left. And then um, I figured out how many pages he has to go. So basically he needs to do a page a week. So I had him do that. And then on this side, I'll show you where he put it onto Tuesday's folder. Which Tuesday is going to be Tuesday telling stories. And basically I'm hoping to encourage him to write stories. Which is something that he struggles with. Because, I'm not sure. Um... He has a really good imagination. I'm not sure if it's his writing that's slowing him down or just processing thinking of a story to write and then writing it. Um, so he gets intimidated. So I got this cool printable for him to try for tomorrow to start his story for him. Derek has decided to become crazy while I'm doing my video. <laughs> so on the other side, this will go, this will get moved over every single day of the week. Barnes and Noble writing journal in here. So every day he's going to write, you know, actually not every day because this basically has eight books and so he has to finish a book. So every day though, he'll look at this. If he has a book, he can write on it. He can write on it or I've been writing on it because it's way too small for him to write on. And then every day he needs to mark down if he did his reading. So cross off one of his squares for the library reading thing. And then I also put his book in here for him. So he has his book right ready for him to start reading. And so this is all in here. And so like tomorrow when he gets all this done, he'll move it over to Wednesday's folder. So get this all back in there. So Wednesday's folder is Wednesday, what do we do? So another worksheet thing that they sent with uh, him was a summer bingo. So basically I wanna let him pick something he wants to do. And, you know, some of these we may not be able to do on the day that he picks it. Um, some of them are kind of a little bit harder. But that's what I had for Wednesday. We'll try it out and see how it works. Thursday is going to be handwriting. But we're tight on money, so I kind of made up my own worksheets for him to start out. Um, using some of the basic ideas from the handwritings without tears just to get him started and getting him used to doing the handwriting. Because this is the book that they sent home for him, which he's actually already done this book once. He did this for Christmas vacation. And I'll tell you, it, it's a lot of work. I mean, I think I figured out he had to do like something like five pages a day during Christmas break to get through this whole book. And it was pretty much torture for all of us involved. So in the back I have the rest of his math worksheets and um, different things like that that I need to fill in there. There's a spelling in there too. His dad wanted to work with him on spelling some more. So this is basically Zane's. There's another book for him to read if he gets tired of reading the chapter book. So this is basically Zane's homework book. He got done in about a half an hour. And I, what I let them do while I need to work one-on-one -on -one with them and they're not the one being worked on, worked with one-on-one, -on -one, I basically let them do um, educational computer games. 
Xerix is not completely all put together because I haven't, I just let him pick out his folders this morning. So basically his, he has his flashcards, which I'm trying to get him to learn more letters and I want to get, he's stuck on 15 letters. It's funny though, because he goes through different letters he knows each time. Every day we're going to do, look at the ABC sheet and do our ABCs. And then I'll have a worksheet on this side for him and his um, book programs on the other side and he'll move them over. So the worksheets I had for him this week, one of them was from 1 plus 1 plus 1 equals 1 dot com. And he likes these. They're like a little maze. And this has actually really helped him learn his letters. Um, another one I found which was from themeasuredmom.com, basically is just ha having him write the letter a few times. And then I found another one that was from education.com, which was an ABC maze. So basically reinforcing, going through the letters that he doesn't, you know, in, in the alphabet, so that he can go A, B, so he can see what they are when he says them. Because sometimes he can say the alphabet, but sometimes he doesn't recognize that that is the M in the alphabet song. So that way it just reinforces it again. So I'm hoping to do those worksheets for him and he did Starfall while Zany was doing his worksheets and basically it took a little bit longer today because I had to show hit them how their folders are gonna work. So I'm now gonna take some washi tape, make some labels for his daily folders. Oh, and I didn't show you my, I, this is their fun last fr folder for Friday. So Fridays, I'm hoping to do something fun on Fridays. So Fridays will be fun Fridays. And I think this Friday we might make Play-Doh. And I'll probably video that and show it to you. So this ended up being a little bit longer than I thought. So I might separate this out. I was going to do this in our daily vlogs. But we will see. These are some books that I've gotten for Zarek that are dry erase books. Handwriting books. Things like that that I've already had. And so I put these in the back of the book. For days that I don't get something printed out for him, he can um, play with these books and get something done. Um, some of the other worksheets that I did find, this one's from theeducation.com. I printed it out for him so that I can just slip them in for the next day, which I need to refill his for the day. So basically, I'm hoping to do just an hour of school Monday through Thursday with them, just keeping Zane caught up, getting Zarek doing a little bit of preschool to get him ready for kindergarten and we will see how this goes. Sometimes I'm one of those people, I make a great plan, I get it all together and then it's really hard for me to just keep doing it over and over. And that might be what's going on with Zane too. I think he has the same problem. We are also going to be doing lots more chores this summer because Zane was telling me the other day that kids don't do chores. Adults do chores. No, so, we're, really, no, adults do. so now we're gonna, I'm gonna have to make a chore, a chore chart for them also. Here's the great dabbers that I got for Zarek for his school stuff that he loves. These are really cool. I got them at Target. Um, I have a little basket for him to keep them in. I need to refill this and put some other kinds of pins and stuff in here for them though. So, we have a little bit of a school area, and this is what we are doing for summer school this this year. So we'll try it out and see how it works. <laughs>